everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to a small baby mini haul i actually have not been buying a lot of books i think i've bought five books in the last three months so this is gonna be a little tiny haul i also have two books that i was sent by publishers to show you i need to read them soon wow Anyway, let's start with those two. I'm on the mailing list for HCC Frenzy. So they send you like two random arcs from the quarter that you're a part of. And so I have The Unpopular Woat by Jasper Sanchez, which is about our main character running for student president. So everything Mark knows about politics, he learned from his congressman father, who still pretends he has a daughter and not a son. But when a candidate for student body president inflames dangerous rhetoric, Mark inserts himself as a political challenger. One big problem is that no one knows Mark. He didn't grow up in this town and his new friends aren't exactly the in crowd. But thanks to countless seasons of The West Wing and Scandal, these nerds know where to start. From water polling to campaign stops to a fashion makeover, but with a journalist digging into his past, a father trying to silence him, and a bully frontrunner in his way, Mark will have to decide what matters most, perception or truth, when both are just as dangerous. This sounds really interesting. Um, so yeah, it is about our main character running for student body president. It sounds so dramatic for just student body president, but I really like the way the back is written. So I'm curious, this book came out at the end of June. So yeah, I need to get to it really quick. But yeah, I feel like this will be a fun, quick read. Both the books I got were so pink. The second book I got was Last Chance Books by Kelsey Rodkey. Book lovers can be haters too. That's so cute. So this one says, you've got male meets more Morgan Matson in the smart banter filled rom com with a bookish twist. Nothing will stop Madeline Moore from taking over her family's independent bookstore after college. Nothing that is until a chain bookstore called the Prologue opens up on the street and threatens to shut them down. Madeline sets out to demolish the competition, but Jasper, the guy who works over the prologue, seems intent on ruining her life. <laughs> Not only is he taking her customers, he has the unbelievable audacity to be extremely cute. But that doesn't matter. Jasper is the enemy and he will be destroyed. After all, all's fair in love and book war. So this sounds very cheesy and cute, like a cheesy cute rom-com. So I feel like when I'm in a mood for a good rom-com, this would be perfect, especially because it's about two book lovers. Sounds cute. So thank you so much, Harper Collins, HCC Frenzy for these two. Let's get into the books I bought myself. I have two that I have already read and one that I own and two that are on the way to me. So let's just quickly talk about them all. The first one is The Serpent's Curse by Lisa Maxwell, which is huge. Um, and I have already read this and I didn't particularly love it. I'll link my wrap up where I talk about this more, but I just feel like I've been away from this world too long and I felt like the magic that I felt with the first two books just kind of frizzled out. But yeah, this is the third book in the Last Magician series. I feel like I still really love the first book, but I'm not sure how I feel about the rest of the book. I'm not sure if I'm gonna read book four. I don't think it's gonna come out in a while, so I won't have to decide just yet. But yeah, I feel like this book was just way too long and had way too many perspectives for what it was. I felt like it could have been a lot more simplistic and we could have like deep dived into a few characters instead of like just getting surface level for so many characters. Like honestly, I felt like every single character in this book had a perspective and it was just too haphazard. I didn't think it needed that many perspectives. Unfortunately, the second book was one of my most anticipated reads and it's also one of my most disappointing reads. And that is sadly One Last Stop by Katie McQuiston. I just talked about this in detail in my wrap up, which should be up after this, so like one video after this. But yeah, this was one of my most anticipated releases because of Red, White and Royal Blue. I thought that was a really adorable rom-com and I was just really excited for this. This one just didn't have the same magic for me either. I felt like, I go into detail about this, but there is a scene in this book that just made me extremely uncomfortable. But other than that as well, I felt like even before that scene came up, because that scene came up like in the last third of the book but even without that i just felt like the book didn't hold the same kind of feeling of red white and royal blue i felt like it felt a lot more generic which is crazy because the plot is like the science fiction-esque like that that element of the of time travel and science fiction i just didn't understand the point i don't think it ever really played that much of a like role like i didn't understand why it was there it could have just like been a normal romance like a normal sapphic romance i don't know it just felt out of place to me and i felt like i just kept reading and waiting to fall in love with it but i just didn't unfortunately i just think that following alex in red white and rose blue alex's character was just so lovable in a way that i felt like august wasn't i felt like i didn't mind her character but i don't know maybe i had too high expectations but yeah like overall i just was not a big fan of this book and 
unfortunately because it was an anticipated release and a five star prediction i think i ended up giving this 2.5 stars or two two stars i think it was two stars but yeah i'm i'm very disappointed but a lot of pink in this haul. The next book I bought was The Beast Player by Nahoko Uahashi and this is the sequel to the Be no sorry The Beast Warrior which is the sequel to The Beast Player which I read, gave five stars to, loved it so much. I want to get to this ASAP. I don't know why I haven't actually. I really really want to get to this soon. But yeah this is just a duology so I feel like maybe that's why I don't want it to end. <laughs> I just really love the world we were introduced to in book one and with the way book one ended I'm just really curious to see where Elin's story goes in the future but this is also 10 years after the first book i'm just genuinely really curious to see where this goes because so much must have changed in 10 years but yeah i have really high expectations and i don't think i'm going to be disappointed and this cover is so gorgeous i'm so excited and finally there are two more books that i recently bought recently pre-ordered that uh, obviously i don't have yet the first one is she who became the sun which should be getting here soon and this is a chinese inspired epic fantasy series that i've been hearing so much about this has been on my tbr for so long and i found a uh, steel for the paperback so i had to get it again this is one that i don't know too much about because i've been trying to stay away from spoilers about this i know it's a villain origin story and i know that i feel like almost all my friends have read it and most of them have like really loved it so i feel like when i'm in the mood for an epic fantasy villain origin story this is definitely going to be one that i go for as soon as possible because it's coming out at the end of July I think maybe the paperback I feel like I will read it pretty soon I'm really excited and um, the second book is another Chinese inspired fantasy that's the Iron Widow I feel like this was one book that I was like hit or miss about because it's like mecha um I'm actually not sure it's like yeah it's mecha I think I don't even know what that means I honestly this book sounded really complicated to me and I was waiting for a few reviews before I got really excited about it but Tammy recently read it and she loved it and gave it five stars so that's all I need to know but yeah, I just had to make use of this sale and buy this one as well. And yeah, I know, I feel like there are robots. Let me see. I already see assassination. I see pilot, giant robots, vengeance. This sounds so good. I genuinely don't even know how to sum up what I just read. But I saw a lot of keywords that I'm very excited about. So yeah, that is pretty much it. What I can get is that our main character is trying to bring down this misogynistic society where a girl and a boy are paired up to be pilots but the girl usually loses her life from the mental strain so she is trying to stop these girls from being sacrificed and get her revenge that's what i got from the synopsis it sounds really really interesting so i'm really excited but yeah that is the haul that's the little baby haul i hope you enjoyed it let me know if you read any of these books and how you felt about them i feel like i'm kind of happy that i'm not buying too many books it's basically partly because i haven't felt the need to buy books but also because i'm moving soon Soon my lease ends at the end of August so I don't want to take too many chances and have more stuff to move than I already do because I already genuinely don't know how I'm gonna move all this stuff but yeah thank you so much for watching I'm trying to get back into schedule so hopefully there'll be two videos this week as well last week there were two videos I'm very proud of myself but yes thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for putting up with me while I was on my little hiatus but thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one bye